Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to color S-Log2 footage. Currently, I'm making a daily vid here on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna talk about the basics of color grading Sony S-Log2 footage. And also, I want you guys to be able to color grade without a LUT. So in this video, first, I'm gonna be showing you how to balance S-Log2 footage. Balancing is adjusting the exposure, the temperature, contrast, and saturation of the image. And then after that, I'll be showing you how to do a basic color grade. The first thing you need to know is shooting S-Log2. You're really gonna wanna look at the histogram on your camera, or if you're looking at the exposure meter, you're gonna wanna expose S-Log2 to plus two. Instead of at zero, you're gonna wanna put the exposure meter to plus two when you're shooting. With S-Log footage, you're actually gonna wanna overexpose just a little bit rather than underexposing, which is contradictory to other picture profiles. I'm gonna hop over to my computer and show you guys how to do this. I'm here in Premiere Pro, and I have a few clips here in the timeline that were all shot in S-Log 2. The first thing I'm gonna do is balance all of these clips. So I'm gonna head over to the Lumetri color tab and what I'm gonna be doing is using this basic correction tab. So I'll click on that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just boost the saturation all the way up, 200. This might not be the official correct way of balancing the clips, but this is a way that works for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust the saturation of all the clips in the timeline here up to 200. Uh, this one I'm gonna do a little more balancing because the skin tones look a little greenish so I'm gonna bring so it looks blue now but later on when I do the grading um, I can adjust the color on this. This one too, especially her arm right here, it looks very green. So again, I'm gonna adjust the white balance to make it look more natural. And I know it looks really blue right now, but later on when we do the grading, I can add more orange. I just wanna make, sure. the biggest thing I wanna be doing here is making sure the skin tones look natural. Just this one at 200. Again, just making sure the skin tones are okay. So that's a basic balance. What colorists usually do is they also adjust the contrast and shadow. It's basically the tone of the image. But I'm gonna be doing that in the grading because I wanna have a flat image to start out with and then do my tone adjustments in the grading section of it. Her arm still looks a little green. Yeah, get more blue. I know this looks pretty crazy right now, but yeah, I'm really adjusting for the skin tones in this. So there we go, we have our basic balance. What I'm gonna do now is head over to the project window and right click, new item, adjustment layer. So what I'm gonna do is make an adjustment layer and drag that on top of all these clips. Now what I'm gonna do is make a basic grade. So head over back to the Lumetri color tab and make sure the adjustment layer is selected. Here, I'm gonna go to the curves tab first, the tone curve, and I'm gonna click here in the middle 
and then I'm gonna bring down the shadows, add some contrast, bring the highlights up just a little bit as well, and then I'm gonna crush the blacks just a little to have that have a faded look. This isn't a definite way of doing color grading, this is just an example grade. So to hopefully to give you a guy's ideas of how to grade your footage. So I'm doing that and then I'm gonna go over to the color wheels and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a teal orange look. So I'll lower the shadows to the teal and the highlights just a little bit to teal as well and the midtones to orange. And let's see how it looks with the other clips. This one, it looks a little more blue. So again, I'm gonna select the clip itself and I'm gonna use the curves to add some. I'm gonna get rid of a little bit of blue and raise the reds just a tiny bit. So there it's balanced a little bit better. This one I'm gonna darken a little bit using the tone curve. This one looks fine. That one looks fine. So again, this is with the adjustment layer. This is without. With, without, with. Head over to the next one. Okay, this is the one that was kind of weird. Actually, I'm gonna adjust the, that the skin tones look fine. I'm gonna head over to the curves again and add some warmth to it by adding a little bit of red and a little bit of green. And lower, and then I'm gonna lower the full curve. So there we go. Oof, this one. So I'm gonna add red and some green to make it more orange. This one also, let's add red. Actually, let's get rid of the blue a little bit and add some red. bit of red. Mm, maybe I'll get rid of some green instead of adding red. Just a tiny bit. So there we go. So that's a basic grade. These two look a little bit too greenish. I'm gonna get rid of some of the green. Her skin tones are a little bit green in here, so I'm gonna adjust that. This one looks really purple. Yeah, so there we go, that's a basic grade. I'm showing you this mainly to give you the tools to be able to do this. So just try this and then you'll start learning how to tweak all the colors. Um, just do some trial and error and try to get uh, something you like that's on the screen. So hopefully this helps you put more skills in your tool bag.
All right, guys, I hope you learned something from that. I hopefully you can go out and use some of these tools. Yeah, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if it helped you. And please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Whoa.